going on on YouTube. Got a third video of this garden. Um, as you can see, I haven't added any more plants, same amount. Um, they all have gotten a lot bigger. Um, not like, wow, holy crap, that was really big, but uh, I, I have actually noticed every day that I come out. All right, well, as you can see, this looks like it's sitting kind of level, and it is. I mean, as you can tell, it's still bowing out a little bit, and uh, we've got that problem going on. Not that that's that big of a problem. Once I actually get it where it's going to be, it's going to be framed in around the lip, like I said last time, so hopefully that'll take care of that issue. Um, another issue that I kind of took care of was I cut out a little section right there and pushed it even further back in. That was about as far as I could go until I started hitting uh, some uh, more structure wood in the back there. So that's all the farther I pushed it back. And that pretty much cured up a lot of the sag. But, of course, with the sag, um, that changed my flow rate and everything. So right now I'm in the process of reconfiguring the flow rate. <laughs> Got the water being pumped in right there from the uh, uh, pump and it's coming in through that black pipe which comes all the way back down around into the uh, fish tank here and uh, as you can see there's no more red sediment in there I have uh, gone ahead and dumped the water cleaned it all out and everything and put uh, I didn't want to but chlorinated water uh, from the city water here and put it right back in there that was yesterday and uh, so hopefully by today that chlorine is already burned out now since I'm having these flow rate problems right now and it's not that big of a deal like at the very most I could do what I did last time and where that coupler is right there I could take that put a T and uh, maybe angle it up in the air a little bit and uh, water would still come out of there I could reroute it right back into the fish tank that way I could just divert some of the flow to knock it down a little bit because I've had it all the way up all the way down in the middle like every single click that it's got and it just will not shut off right now, which is not that big of a deal. But, um, and another reason for it, uh, another adjustment that I made was um, here on the stem uh, for the drain. I made that a lot shorter. I dropped that by at least uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, well between a half inch and three quarters of an inch it was a significant amount and then reinstalled it and uh, so right now that's as high as this water level is gonna get I need some more rock in there to cover that up so we don't get some algae growing up in here a little bit over in there and in the back a little bit and this is a good way to tell where you need to add some more rock just pull your uh, bell siphon out and just let it continually drain like that and that way you can go ahead and get your rock in there and uh, get it all fixed up There we go. So I've got a couple dozen fish and I've got them in a tank and they're all ready to go. I bought two dozen and uh, the first two dozen, um, well the first two dozen I put in the hot tub and the second two dozen I bought, they were tiny, 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 tiny little, little tiny things. They were the smallest goldfish I've ever bought. They were like half to a quarter of the size of the normal feeder fish that they have. I mean, they were the smallest little tiny fish I've ever seen. I got had, they were so small that they actually got sucked in through the uh, grate that is over the filter intake, where it goes up into the impeller of the pump. And I actually had to like pull, I don't know, five or six of um, them right out of the impeller to get that thing to work again. And then I had like seven or eight of them all stuck to the side where they just got stuck against the filter uh, well the filter intake that is and uh, so I took care of them long story short um, every day I'd come home there'd be you know one or two dead three or four sometimes and they'd be caught up in the fake uh, plants that are in there that they use for cover and stuff or they'd be floating on the top and long, like I said long story short I'm down to two from that batch so yesterday I went back out grabbed another two dozen these guys are gigantic uh, compared to those guys they are actually really big so hopefully um, just a little bit I'll go ahead and put them right in here and they'll be swimming right in and around that PVC pipe there having a good time uh, doing their fish thing and pooping and peeing in the water that way we can get it up here into the bed 
and uh, get that going. I guess I should probably get started on some sort of uh, bio ball filter for this one as well. But I'm gonna hold out for a little while. I mean, we're just now starting to get the bacteria to start in here. This is week two, so I imagine we've got another two weeks or so, or uh, maybe four weeks before we actually have this as an actual functioning aquaponic garden. But uh, we're on our way so far. And we're right back to the not, uh, when it's draining, it doesn't wanna turn off problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep messing with this and uh, see how I wanna address this. Maybe a couple more holes in the bell siphon itself there, a little bit higher. Uh, you know, small holes like quarter inch or an eighth of an inch or something like that, just to add a little bit of air to enough to, uh, you know, kick it out from uh, the drain. Or I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'll just start messing with that 90 right there and take care of that. But that, wash down some lava rock, put it in the spots where I need it. That way there's no uh, water exposed so we can have algae growing. And uh, then all I need to do really is get my butt working on the framed area over there by the hot tub aquaponics and uh, try to get that sucker going so that I can actually have this with two beds and functioning and uh, actually bacteria rich and having uh, some good nutrients going to those plants. But till next time, that's all I got. So later.